video is going to be on this date night makeup look. I was just kind of feeling smoky and a little bit more nighttime today, so I was like, I'm gonna film this look. And the reason I love it so much is because it's not your traditional black or brown smoky eye. It's a beautiful olive green. I love this pigment I wear all the time. And I love it because it just makes your eyes pop. And if this is too much for you for a date, then feel free to tone it down. But I know if I was going on a first date or a date with someone, this is the makeup that I'll be wearing because it just kind of makes me feel sexy and confident and that's what you want to feel right you want to feel like you got it going on when you're going on a date so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you do please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe and let's go ahead and get started So I've already primed my eyes and now I'm taking the color Saddle for MAC. It's a medium warm brown and when I'm going with a really dark smoky eye, I like to use a more medium brown because if you use a brown that's too light first, it's not gonna blend the colors as much. So I'm taking the shade back and forth in the crease. Now I'm taking the shade Mocha from Makeup Geek and this is a darker brown. I'm just gonna take this back and forth in the crease as well with a stiffer brush. This is going to help build up that intensity. It's all about blending from the lightest color down to the darkest color in this look. So I'm taking this back and forth, bringing it all the way to the inner part of the eye. Now taking the deepest brown in this look, this is NARS Coconut Grove. It's almost black, it's so dark. I'm gonna focus it on the outer V of the eye and work it inwards, just so we have a lot of definition at that very outer corner and then blending it towards the inner part of the eye. Then I'm going to take my blending brush and just start blending any harsh lines. Now I'm going to wet my brush and take the most beautiful olive green pigment. This is called Regal from Alexa Persico Cosmetics. I've worn this so much the past year. I wore it to IMATS New York. I wore it in my Q&A video a few months ago and it is just absolutely stunning. I'm just going to pat this all over the lid. And the pigment is so creamy and finely milled in texture that you're not going to get a whole lot of eyeshadow everywhere. Then I'm just gonna take some more of NARS Coconut Grove just to deepen up the crease a little bit because when you add a lid color, it can kind of take it away. So I'm gonna add some more of this and blend it upwards. Now I'm going to clean up any fallout and sharpen up the edge of my eyeshadow and move on to eyeliner. I'm using the Inglot Gel Liner as usual. And then for lashes, I'm going to use my favorite Lashes in the City by Velour. You guys are probably sick of me using these, but they're so flirty. And these are the iconic lashes for a date night, so I had to use them. I'll link them down below with the coupon code if you're interested. Now for the waterline, I'm using a black coal. I think black really makes this look and amps it up a notch. Moving on to the face, I'm using the Hourglass Mineral Veil, which is my favorite. I know it'll make my makeup last all night. And then for foundation, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This is beautiful for full coverage, but it looks so natural, and a little bit goes a very long way. So I'm gonna work this all over the face and blend it outwards. This is also great for photography. I've noticed it doesn't give me a white flashback. To apply, I'm gonna use the Sigma F88 Flat Angled Kabuki. I love this so much for foundation. It makes it so creamy and flawless on the skin, and it just becomes one with your face. For concealer, I'm using Pro Longwear by MAC. This is in the shade NC25, my favorite concealer, and I'm gonna blend it out with my Pro Beauty Blender. I love this at nighttime because it stays put, it makes your eyes just look automatically lifted and awake, and I love this concealer. I'm gonna focus it in the little triangle underneath the eye and then bring it outwards. To set the concealer, I'm using a banana from the Anastasia Contour Kit. I can't get enough of this recently just because I've been tanner and some of my other powders are a little bit too light, so I'm gonna use this to set my concealer. 
To start bronzing up the face, I'm going to use this Pro Sculpting Cream from MAC in the shade Pure Sculpture. I've been loving this lately. It's a tan brown shade and I'm going to place it where I would normally contour and it's just going to really add dimension and color to the skin and I love the way that this looks underneath bronzer or blush and it just looks so natural. And I'm going to blend it out with my Rounded Angle Kabuki from Sigma and you can see just how easy this blends out. Oh my gosh, I just love this formula. I've also been loving the skin finish from MAC in the shade Magnetic Appeal. It's a copper with a little bit of bronze in it and it looks so beautiful for summertime. This was limited edition, but if I can find it, I will link it down below. Something that is similar would be the Balm's Betty Luminizer Bronzer. Now I'm gonna add some of this blush by Milani. This is in the shade Coralina. One of my favorite Milani blushes, it is this beautiful orange color, very similar to Modern Mandarin by MAC. For a cheekbone highlight, I'm going to use Estee Lauder's Heat Wave. I love the way this looks in pictures, I love the way it looks at night. This was also limited edition, but a lot of you have been asking for me to use it in a tutorial and I literally can't put it down, so if you can find it, I highly recommend it. Now we're going to smoke out that lower lash line. This is so important for this look, it's really going to tie it all together. And I'm going to use NARS Coconut Grove again, and this is just going to make your eyes look so smoky and sultry and be like, bam, look at me. And then I'm going to go back to that highlighter just to highlight the inner corners of the eyes. And then, of course, add a little bit of mascara on your lower lashes. Now for lips, I'm starting off with Strip Down Lip Liner for MAC, surprise, surprise. This is really important to use a brown or neutral lip liner for this look because I'm using a really nude lipstick. This is Myth by MAC and it literally looks like concealer when I put it on, but I love it under lip gloss and this gloss that I'm going to use is called Rambutan, I think that's how you say it, by Bite. I can't put this combo down, it is going to be my go-to summer combo, Myth Lipstick plus Bite Rambutan Gloss. Oh, I just love, love, love it. Then the last step is to set everything with a setting spray. So here's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you try it out and it'll give you confidence for a date or a girl's night or anything you want to do. Rock it out. I love you guys so much. Please make sure to hashtag me at Amanda Ensing if you try out the look because I would love to see your cute little faces and I will see you in my next video. Bye.